I was small, and then I got big, and I was big, and I got small, and then I got, you know what I mean? That's kind of where I'm at with it. Mm -hmm. Use my stress marks. You can use the techniques that I'm going to talk about today. Yeah, I want to keep it. My name is Diana. I do this channel with my fiance Kwame, who's not here right now. But today I want to talk to you all about stretch mark prevention. So, when I first found out I was pregnant, everybody wanted to tell me what to do for stretch mark prevention and how not to get them. It's just different for everybody. Some people use coconut butter, some people use shea butter, some people use a whole bunch of different oils, and one, I'm lazy, so I don't like to do a whole bunch of mixing and all that stuff. And two, I'm cheap, and I don't like to buy expensive products. And that's what the market is. If you go to a store and you look up stretch mark prevention, they have a bunch of different options. And it's really hard for me to make decisions, so I just couldn't. So because I've been pregnant during this pandemic. I've had a lot of downtime, which means because I'm a nerd, I research and I just read every scientific journal that there is about stretch marks and stretch mark prevention. All of them have a few things in common. One of the things is that it's genetic. Uh, stretch marks are genetic, but they're not genetic. You know what I'm trying to say? So. Your mom could have stretch marks, your cousins, your sisters could have stretch marks, and you don't have to have stretch marks because there are ways to prevent stretch marks. For stretch marks, the only things that are scientifically proven to alleviate stretch marks. Now, if you do, if you've done a whole bunch of other things to prevent your stretch marks, that's great <laughs> because it works for different people. Everything works for different people. But for me, because I knew I only wanted as few products as I possibly could use, I only do one thing. Two, but I'll tell you. So the first thing is to drink water. You have to keep your skin very pliable and movable because you know you're growing a whole baby inside of you. So drink lots of water. That's what everyone's gonna tell you. And that's, that's true. You have to make sure you're hydrated, make sure that you have enough water in your body so that your skin can be moving and growing with you. Now, the second thing, the only other thing that I do to, to prevent my stretch marks is almond oil. This is just generic almond oil that I got from my grocery store. And you can use bitter almond oil, sweet almond oil, whatever. But the nutrients within an almond works with your body to make sure that it is continuing to stretch and your skin can stretch with whatever is going on inside of you that's making your skin stretch in the first place so it doesn't really have to be because you're pregnant it also could be because you're gaining weight or you're losing weight and you don't want those type of stretch marks almond oil is also beneficial in getting rid of stretch marks that you already have so it takes time obviously because you may have had those stretch marks for a while but because of the nutrients within an almond it helps to take away your stretch marks that you already have so those are the only things that i've been doing with my body to prevent stretch marks and i mean i'm not finished my pregnancy i still have a long way to go well not that long like nine weeks to go but i have no stretch marks no stretch marks um anywhere another thing was recommended to put the almond oil on after you get out of the shower because when you get out of the shower your pores are open and you want to make sure that you can get as many nutrients inside of your skin as possible so i also use this if i feel like she's stretching my belly or i feel like dry in certain areas you don't want to scratch you don't want it to be dry anything like that so just keep being moisturized and drink water that's really all there is to it so if you keep moisturized with doing anything else as long as you're moisturized honestly you can really prevent it but almond oil is is the key let's say you have like an oil that you bought from the store if you look on the back of it it most likely will have almond oil inside of it already as well as a whole bunch of other great things that also help to prevent dark marks stretch marks things like that so that's what i've been doing i hope that this has helped 
any of you out there and I know this is a really quick and short video but I just wanted to make a video to show you guys what I've been doing and here's a belly shot here's my belly at 31 weeks no stretch marks I also wanted to say that stretch marks aren't a bad thing stretch marks is just a sign that your body has moved from one phase to another phase either bigger to smaller or smaller to bigger it's not something to be ashamed about or anything because so many people have stretch marks i think honestly Kwame has stretch marks on his arm i should show you guys but you know it's really not a bad thing but if you don't want them they are preventable they're not something that's just passed down even though that's what everyone says, <laughs> you can prevent stretch marks if you really do the research and you just, you look it up. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next one.